I wouldn't put it past Justin if he was the type of guy that when he's having arguments with Haley at home, he would make comments like, you know, when I was with Selena, I didn't have to deal with this. I kind of miss my relationship with Selena because I didn't have to deal with you doing. This is the number one reason why you should never date someone who's not over their ex. Take this as reason number one. Everybody knows the story of Selena and Justin and Haley. And you know, if you clicked on this video, it's because you already know the story. I guess I should give some kind of a background. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez had a very public relationship at what was really the, the, the beginning of, of both of their budding music careers. Selena has been a child star from a very young age. And Justin had been on YouTube putting out videos of himself singing, but it was when his videos finally were discovered and he started his musical career. It was around that time that Selena went from just being a child actress in Wizards of Waverly Place that she transitioned into being a full-time singer. It was around this time that those two very young budding artists got together and together they were a supernova. Justin was really at that time was the bigger celebrity out of the two. He was a heartthrob and all the girls wanted to be with him. And so when he finally fell in love with this girl who was beloved by those same little girls that had a huge crush on him, they became a huge couple. They were seen on every red carpet. They were just couples goals for the teeny tiny little kids. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, when you have very young people who have a lot of fame and money and power, these things, you know, get to their heads. So this is obviously going to cause problems in their interpersonal relationships. And throughout the, I believe, eight years that Justin and Selena were together, they were on and off throughout that whole time. And at some point during the off times, Haley, a girl who clearly had a massive, massive crush on Justin from a very young age, had what every fan's wildest dream is happen. She started dating, messing up with, hooking up with Justin. And uh, it was very messy because it was clear that to Justin, Selena was, you know, his first love. And so whenever he could get back with her, he would. And whoever he was in the off times, he would ditch. And this was Haley. But eventually, Selena and Justin were finally done. He quickly got back with Haley. He didn't waste any time. He put a ring on it and they got married. So why wasn't this Haley's and Justin's happy ending? Happily ever after, the end, right? That's how it's supposed to be. Why is this saga continuing? Why are Selena and Haley, more often than not Haley, throwing daggers at Selena? Why is this? Because Justin, that's why. The thing that I don't think anybody's talking about is the fact that Justin is playing a really big central part in all this mess that is taking place. And he's the one who's getting off scot-free. Why are these two women still going at it? And I say two because right now the picture is being painted that Selena is the victim and Haley is the aggressor and Kylie Jenner. Why is Kylie in this girl? But the point is that Selena is not innocent in any of this. Selena has been found to be following anti Haley accounts on Twitter. And Haley has also been doing the same. She's been following anti Selena accounts. And it's those fans who start these accounts that are very against the other person that are really feeding the fire, feeding the frenzy that is the whole Selena, Justin, Haley situation. If Justin was really done with Selena, if he was really over her, he would have put a stop to this. This wouldn't even be going on. Even when the fans would be throwing daggers and doing things, Haley wouldn't even be looking at those accounts because she would be happy with her husband, minding her business, being loved and appreciated and cherished by him. Maybe Selena, maybe she's still feeling some type of way because she did not end up with her first love, but then she would be the only one throwing daggers and leaving comments and leaving likes. 
under shady posts against Haley, and it would be a very one-sided thing that would die down eventually. But the battle continues because it seems to me, and this is my opinion obviously, but it seems to me that Justin wants the battle to continue. He still holds a flame for his ex. I wouldn't put it past Justin if he was the type of guy that when he's having arguments with Haley at home, he would make comments like, you know, when I was with Selena, I didn't have to deal with this. I kind of miss my relationship with Selena because I didn't have to deal with you doing A, B, C. Maybe he's still DMing Selena. Maybe he's still leaving little clues for her in his songs. Maybe he's still liking photos of her. Maybe he's still dropping little hints, letting Selena know, you still have a chance, baby. You're still the one, honey. I may have made a mistake when I got with Haley. It should have been you, but you broke my heart, Selena. It should have been you. I can only think that it's little hints like these that are keeping Selena in the game. And of course, this is messing with Haley's head because she thought that once she got the ring, once she walked down the aisle holding hands with him, that should have been the end of the story, but it's not over. So now we see these two women going at it. And where's Justin? Why hasn't he put a stop to this? He could. He could really put a stop to this. He could say to Haley, babe, we need to stop this. You're giving yourself a bad name, which is giving me a bad name. You don't have anything to worry about. You're the one. Forget about her. Forget about her fans. Just block all these accounts that are stirring up the pot. Let's go on a vacation, you and me, and send the message to the world that we are together. You know, at the time that I'm putting this out, that hasn't happened. So, so maybe, I don't know, hopefully this will happen. But right now, the battle continues. And it's because I think the person at the middle of this battle is not choosing a clear side. And that's a problem. Understand that when someone you're in a relationship with constantly pins you against their ex, there is nothing constructive about that. There is nothing kind or they're not trying to help you. They're not trying to make you be better. This person is trying to do one thing and one thing only. Put you in an inferior place. Let you know that he or she does not approve of who you are. And that you could lose your position at any time if you don't do everything in your power to please them. This is a power move. It's a control move. It's trying to make you feel off kilter, to make you feel insecure, to doubt yourself. And if you're the type of person who would rather be in a less than ideal relationship that might be offensive or abusive or neglectful, rather than to have a peaceful solitude existence, you're exactly the mark that they were looking for. You're exactly the type of person that they can control into doing what they want by making you feel that you don't deserve to be in this relationship and that you should feel lucky that you are in this relationship. So you need to shape up. You need to do everything in your power to do what they want you to do so that you can earn your place in that relationship. Baby, please. Please don't let yourself be clowned like that. If you're not good enough for this man or this woman, problem solved. I'll walk away. I'll, I'll do you a solid. I'll leave so you can get back with your ex or find somebody who's exactly like your ex. Take your power. The last thing you want to do is lash out at the ex or lash out at the new girlfriend in order to feel that this is the problem. No. The ex or the new should not be a problem. If he makes up his mind, that should be the end of everything, right? So if things are continuing, it's because he's continuing. And if he's continuing in between two people, he's the problem. He's the dead weight that needs to be dropped off. But you have to be confident in order to pull that off. May you be that person who is confident enough to take back your power and to let him or her or the world know, if I don't fit here, I'll go where I fit. 
By now, Justin should have put out a statement or a post that makes it very clear that he is team Haley, that the fans need to stop this, that anybody who pits these two women together are not real fans of his, and he does not approve of this. So until then, the saga will continue. And what's gonna happen next? I guess stay tuned and we will find out in the next installment of Haley versus Selena. May the best woman win. Anyway, I just wanted to make this quick little video. Uh, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. We're in a new setting. Uh, I miss my old setting, uh, but we're going to make it work. We, we are going to persevere. We continue. We, we keep on going even when things get difficult. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you watch my videos, I beg you to please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm stuck at 520. I think we're approaching 530. Um, I would really like to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this month. Please help me. If you like my videos, share them with your friends, anybody who might want to see this. Um, yeah, please subscribe. It doesn't take a lot to so just click that subscribe button it's really easy and it will make a world of a difference for me so i really appreciate you watching my videos please leave a comment please leave a like and i will see you in the next video bye